variables and uh, one name one label should be right as value of the port and the other one should be value of the pin let's say pins mm, let's put some two text box here one here and one here uh, this is because that a user can access any port by giving the uh, decimal number of the port and the user can uh, uh, give if the uh, any pin that you want to uh, give 0 or 1 by giving uh, binary values that we early talks sorry about that we have to use this button in here so we can press this button and uh, uh, fire up our LEDs so I am going to uh, say it as access pin any, any name you like it's not matter and we are going to uh, when the user press this button the pins that you entered here will be uh, eliminated or will be flash out in our circuit okay let's I need uh, to create two integer values address address mm, it is from the text box one and uh, because it's uh, text box is giving a string we have to convert it to uh, integers so we have to do is like this convert to integer to integer 16 will be great text box one to text okay now we have to uh, give the pin value yeah, the user will give the pin values in the text box too so we have to use it great uh, after that we simply have to access uh, simply have to access that class that we have created already so it is name as access port access uh, no wait a second access port so we can, can create that methods output because we are in this uh, part we only give outputs for our uh, parallel port so we may we create the output part now it says I ent give the int address and the int value so we have to give the int address as address and the value as pin value okay now it is done but you have to uh, create a try catch here because it's uh, good to uh, put some try catches if there is an error you don't simply need to debug again you just can simply watch what is the error is so we have to throw exception a name and here we am I'm going to use a message box dot show 
this will show what is the message we will get simply the message okay now we are ready to compile our project I think we done great okay simply right and uh, as I said mentioned in earlier you can uh, use any port number you want like 888 or 889 or any port you want we here use 888 and if you as I guess we uh, learned earlier if we put 255 it means all the pins will be uh, values as on if I put 0 here the all the values will be 0 in output pins so simply you can put any number uh, depending on the port pin numbers actually it's those are in binary uh, 0, 2, 4, 64, 32 like that if you put them you can print what uh, LED you like so let's put 255 so all the uh, LEDs will be uh, flashing now press the access pin and here we have uh, error because we use that uh, try catch it simply catch the error it says uh, unable to load dll because our input should be INP or ut 32 dll i uh, i mistakenly write uh, not the 32 dll so we have to simply go to our class file and put 32 here uh, because you do this try catch it is uh, very easy to catch those errors in uh, mm, your applications every time try to put try catchers and simply do 888 eight, eight and 255 now it's worked correctly greatly so let's see what will happen <coughs> 